Okay, now three, can I have you respond to a house uh, robbery in progress at 17901 East Americana Way? The homeowner stating they're on vacation and that they see two people on their property trying to break in. Okay, now three, copy. I'll be heading that direction. Copy, 97. Two out of nine three, can you go ahead and start a perimeter at that residence? Nine three, copy. All right, we just got reports of a house robbery up here in Richmond. Um, it sounds like there might be multiple suspects on the scene of uh, the crime here. Uh, we got a possible robbery in progress, so we're gonna go ahead and hightail it just a little bit. Um, hopefully, we can get in front of this Jeep right here. Excuse me, buddy. Nine three, city. I'll be. Okay, uh, we'll go ahead and go right here. We already got some more units in the perfect. area. Um, looks like they might be starting to set up a perimeter, but I believe it's going to be this house right here. Okay, now three, we're going to be 23. Can we get some additional units um, staging at the front of the house here so we can start our search? Okay, now three, copy, 23. We have two item six seven and four item four six that are responding. They're going to be about two mics away. Thanks for joining us tonight. This is Live PDFR. Whoa, 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 whoa! Item 12, hold the channel, hold the channel! No, 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 shut down, shut down! Oh my god, look at him go! Put your hands up, okay? Do not operate that gun, otherwise you're gonna get bit! Continuing, oh my goodness, there it is! 1050, 1050, rollover accident! Sure, hands up, hands up, hands up! One gonna know with the gun, shut fire, shut fire! Jason, you know what? He's, he's hot as hell, but man, his brain isn't too big. Hello and welcome to Live PDFR. Today we're following Officer Carson and K-9 Jasper from the Los Santos Police Department, Trooper Davis and K-9 Chief from the San Andreas High Patrol, and Ranger Fleming from the San Andreas State Parks. With three cameras following all the action, we'll be right back after a super quick break. Stay tuned. If you'd like to support the channel a little bit extra, I've just set up a Patreon program where you can get perks like shoutouts, behind the scenes footage, early access to these videos, and a whole lot more. Please feel free to check it out at patreon.com slash Adrian Martin. And again, thank you all so much for being part of the Live PDFR family. Love you guys. Before we head back, I'd like to thank our very first Lieutenant Patreon supporter. Thank you, Win Love. I really appreciate the support, man. And thank you so, so much for being part of the force. Welcome back, everybody. We got to go straight to Officer Carson on that house robbery call. They got two suspects running around the property. Running around the back. All right, let's get let's get Jasper here. Let's get Jasper. All oh, units, signal 100 let's go, is in effect for a house robbery in progress at 1791 East. We got some Carolina suspects. Way. You want to go by them? You want to go by them? Let's go. Got him 6 7. I'll be 23. What's going on? Okay. Watch out. She got a bunch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think so. I don't think so. Get on the ground, man. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. 6 7. We're going to point. We got somebody else right there. Okay, now three. We've got multiple suspects on the property. One is uh, one is down at this time. Hello. Copy. One at gunpoint. One down. Multiple suspects on the property. We'll go ahead and set some more units your way. All right, let's five, go five, and get the other the person in custody. Copy, 5-5. Five, five. Bam, do not move. Two, do six, not move, okay? Get on the ground. Get on the ground. On the ground. 2-6, don't, don't be playing this game. Oh, my God. We got freaking ghostin.com. What is this? Let's go ahead and hit her. Bam, get on the ground. Don't play this game. Otherwise, you're going to get tased. You're going to get tased if you don't get on the ground. You understand that? You understand that? Get on the ground, ma'am. 5 five, twenty three. Taser, 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 taser. Taser used, taser used. Ma'am, do not move, okay? Do not move. Get on the ground. Are you going to comply now? Are you going to comply? What is this? Oh, boy. Jasper went for it. Good boy, Jasper. Good boy, Jasper. Oh, my goodness. All right, she's got a pretty extensive fight. Ma'am, do not move. Get on the ground, ma'am. What are you doing flopping up like that? Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Oh, my God. All right, I'm not sure what we're gonna be able to do with this lady. Let's taser again. Taser, taser, taser. Ma'am, do not move. You got bit already. Oh my goodness. Somebody take her into custody, please. Well, they figure out how to get her into custody. Let's go over to Trooper Davis and K9 Chief up north. Uh, looks like they pulled over a vehicle for no license plates. All right, let's go ahead and make contact with this guy. Um, so far, he's cooperating, so we don't really need a backup unit at this time. I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, my flashlight real quick and uh, see if we can talk to this guy. Hey, what's up, man? My name's Trooper Davis, San Andreas High Patrol. Uh, you're looking a little bit drowsy, man. Is something going on there? Anyway, I'm pulling you over because you uh, you don't have a license plate on the back of this thing. Not sure if you have any registration on this, but if you do, I'd like to take a look, okay? And uh, your your ID and everything, okay? Yep. yep. You have that on you? All right, I appreciate, appreciate it, man. 
All right, his license is showing Marcus and Zillberger. And he does have a, uh, a plate on the registration. So let's go ahead and, and look in the front real quick and see if he's got anything. Okay, he does have a plate on the front here. So it's going to be 4-3 Ida Adam George 066. All right, let's go ahead and run that through the system. Hey, uh, I'll be right back, okay? Just hang on tight in the vehicle. All right, so let's go ahead and run that plate through our system. Make sure it's not coming back stolen. Make sure this guy doesn't have a warrant. Um, if everything checks out, we'll just go ahead and give him a simple citation for no visible license plate. So 43i to Adam George 066 is coming back to a matte light gray rebel, which is what we pulled over. It is valid, and it is valid on insurance, not stolen. Our owner, Marcus, is coming back clean as... Clean as everything, uh, you know, that's clean in the world. So that's going to be fine. All right, we got to break off and go back to that house robbery call with Officer Carson and K-9 Jasper. It turns out that suspect they were struggling to get into custody just collapsed and is now unconscious. Uh, looks like Officer Carson is getting ready to search the rest of the property there. Let's go back now. Okay, they're going to go ahead and stay GMS down the street. We're going to go ahead and grab our ballistic seal uh, shield and search the rest of the property here just to confirm that there's no other robbers on the scene of uh, this, this robbery in progress call. Hey, guys. You guys want to go ahead and line up right behind me, or we'll go ahead and search the back of the property and confirm that there's nobody else on scene. Adam 67 City, we're right. going to go ahead and start a sweep of the we property. we got Jasper as well, so just in case things go sideways. Six, seven, we got multiple we'll units that can support, um, you know, if somebody starts sh starts shooting at us or whatever. But I wanted to grab this ballistic shield, that way we are fully safe. Let's go ahead and run around back here and, and try to hightail this, this situation. Okay, let's go ahead and, and search the back here. K93, I'm going to be searching uh, the back side of the property, starting on the left side here. Starting on the left side. K93, copy. Starting on the left side of the property. Anybody else on the property? This is the Los Santos Police Department. This is your last chance to come out with your hands up. All units stack up on uh, K93. Anybody else on the property? Last chance to come on out with your hands up. Not spotting anybody right now. Six, seven, we're moving All right, in let's back go here. ahead and move up here. See if we can spot anybody kind of like by the doors or anything, by the windows. Looks to be clear at this time. Looks like we got a uh, little pathway here and a pool, so we'll want to make sure we don't fall into that. This time it looks pretty clear, so I think we're going to be okay. Let's go ahead and move around the opposite side of the house over here and see if we got anything. No, it looks pretty clear. Okay, so I believe those were just our two suspects, um, like the, the homeowner was telling dispatch earlier. So let's go ahead and call that in. Okay, now three all units. I believe we're going to be clear on the scene here, not spotting any more robbers. Okay, now three copy. Scene's going to be clear at this time. We'll go ahead and lift signal 100 and let EMS know they can come in. 6-7 city, uh, two suspects are still down. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, put our ballistic shield away here, and we'll go ahead and uh, dock up Jasper as well in the back. Um, so we can get that sorted. Copy. I'll let them know to ramp it up. It sounds like they're going to go ahead and bring EMS in to uh, check out our suspects who are down. Let's go ahead and put that in the back to the Tahoe. And we'll get Jasper back inside. All right. While they wait for EMS to show up on scene, let's check in with Ranger Fleming, who's patrolling in the Vinewood Hills area. Sure that everybody is operating their vehicles properly. Look at this guy, dude. Almost ran into the back of that car because he was hightailing it. Let's go ahead and see if we can catch up to him and pull him over for that. Driving carelessly in the rain. I'm not sure which direction he went. Okay, I, I believe he's going straight into Vinewood Hills. Let's go, let's go, let's go. But driving that fast down a hill when it's super slippery on the roadways and uh, almost running to a vehicle is not good. Here he is right here in front of us. Let's go ahead and see if we can pull him over. What are you doing, man? What the hell was that? All right, we're going to pull that guy over. Dude, what is going on? Now we got a whole road rage incident. Let's go ahead and flip around and talk to that guy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way, out of the way, vehicle. Yep, you're the one. 
Ranger 466 County, I'm going to be uh, traffic stop. 466 County. Oh traffic my traffic. god, ran into a, a fence. Ranger 466, yeah, I'm going to be traffic stop. East, eastbound Lakewood Vinewood, or I'm sorry, Lake Vinewood Drive and uh, Bay Tree Canyon Road. I've got a possible 1055 subject. Uh, ran into multiple vehicles. Can you go ahead and send me some county units, please? Ranger 466, copy. Traffic stop, Lake Vinewood Drive and Bay Tree Canyon Road. I'll send an additional for a possible 1055. Do you have a 1028 I can attach on the traffic stop? Copy, thank you. Yeah, 28 is going to be 88 Tom Queen Frank 553. Copy. 88 Tom Queen Frank 553 is coming back to a black Ricardo registered to a Jessica Woods. It's all clean and valid in our system. All right, so we just ran the plate through dispatch. It sounds like it's coming back to a Jessica Woods who is clean and valid, unfortunately. Um, I was hoping we could get a little more, a little more stuff on her to uh, to take her in tonight because I don't want her to be driving. That's for sure. But um, once we get our uh, fellow unit on scene here to support us, I'm gonna go ahead and make contact with her and uh, verify that you know she's not driving under the influence. Hopefully, that's gotta love those LS drivers. All right, let's go back to Officer Carson. He's searching that down suspect over at the house robbery call. Let's go there. Let's see if she's got any sort of contraband on her that we can associate with this call and an ID we can run through our MDT. She's got a gift certificate, a nine millimeter pistol. So wow, good thing she did not use that on us. She's got lock picks and a, uh, a police baton. So she had two weapons. Uh, she's got some robbery tools on her as well, the lock picks. So that's not gonna be good for her. Um, her name, according to her ID here, is Jennifer Gills. So we'll go ahead and run that through uh, dispatch. Whoa, 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 she got back up. Ma'am, do not move, do not move. What is she doing? Holy cow, we got EMS trying to check her out and she just flops back up, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man, some of these people, they pretend to be uh, unconscious and they're really not. We'll go ahead and, and watch her as EMS is checking out her ankles. Ma'am. Can you just cooperate with EMS, please? I don't want to get in their way, but uh, if she starts getting more combative, we're going to have to uh, taser her again. I believe they're going to go ahead and transport her right now. All right, they're going to go ahead and transport her. She's still being combative on the stretcher, so they're going to have to restrain her, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and walk with them over to the ambulance and verify that uh, she's not going to go ahead and hit EMS or anything. Sometimes on these calls, I'm telling you, these suspects can get real combative, they can get real pissed off, and they'll do anything to, to get out of custody. So we're going to go ahead and verify that she gets into the ambulance. Looks like they loaded her in, no problem. Um, and then they're going to go ahead and check out the other suspects. So let's go ahead and make sure that uh, this one's not combative as well. Looks like she's going to be she's gonna be down for the count, unfortunately. But... Uh, we have two twins apparently robbing this property. Um, looks like they're going to be starting CPR here. I don't know what happened to her. You know, she was coming after us. It's possible both of these suspects took some crazy drugs before they came here, and then now she's overdosing on it or something. But uh, looks like they're going to be calling her deceased at this now time. We even show up. All right. Yep, she's deceased. The other suspect is restrained in the ambulance, so they're going to go... Wow, restrained in the ambulance. I just can't believe she would get back up after all that. All right, we got to break off and go to Trooper Davis, K-9 Chief. Looks like he spotted a stolen vehicle on US Route 13. I, was, I just spotted the plate. It did say 28 Victor on it, so... It's going to be him right here in the number one lane to our right. So we got a possible stolen. I'm going to run that plate through uh, dispatch just to confirm that that is the case. If this... Um, vehicle right next to us can let us in i can i can run that plate let's go ahead and see real quick come on baby there we go one king 88 highway can i get a plate check on a 28 victor adam sam 135 alpr is saying it's stolen king 88 28 victor adam sam 135 yep we're seeing that stolen as well as of thursday on a black fugitive registered to a tyrell dawson Looks like it was taken from the reporter's driveway in the middle of the night. 10 for copy. Can I get some additional highway units to come down this direction? I am uh, eastbound US Route 13 at this time, right before the Sandy exit. I'm going to try to pull them over right after the Sandy exit. So I'll let you know. 
Copy. He's been on US Route 13 right before this handy exit. We'll go ahead and send some more units. Let us know when you pull him over and we'll hold the channel. All right, we'll come right back once you get some additional units. Let's go back to Ranger Fleming. Remember, she pulled over that bad driver who had a vehicle. She's getting ready to talk to that suspect now. I'm going to be rolling up. Hello, ma'am. My name is Ranger Fleming with the San Andreas State Parks. Adam, Not sure you know why I pulled you over, but uh, it's, it's pretty obvious. Uh, you're driving your vehicle very, very carelessly. Is there any reason for that? This is my friend's car, and it's different from what I normally drive. Okay. Uh, do you have your uh, driver's license, proof of insurance, and registration on this vehicle? All right, so she's telling us it's her friend's car. I mean, that's kind of a bogus excuse we get all the time. Um, all right, Miss Miss Woods, thank you very much, okay? Uh, have you been drinking at all today? You don't need to answer that? Okay, that's fine. I'm going to go run your information. Just hang on tight, okay? Don't do anything stupid. All right, so Miss Woods, she's driving around with sunglasses on in this weather. So, I mean, she's she's just a whole fruitcake all around. I'm not I'm not sure what she's doing. Um, we got our fellow deputy on scene. Let's go ahead and run her vehicle through our system here. So the vehicle is registered to Jessica Woods. So the whole, oh, it's my friend's car, is a total bogus excuse. That uh, we, we could read that live from a mile away. Uh, here she is. She's been stopped for... Speeding between 60 and 25 over. She does have a CCW for a handgun. But other than that, she's never been arrested. So that's not good. Let's go ahead and ask her about her weapon. If she does have one on her person today. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and pull her out of the vehicle and ask her that. Hey, Miss Woods. This vehicle is registered to you. So I'm not sure what you're telling me about the whole, this is my friend's car. But why don't you go ahead and step out for me, okay? I know it's raining, but uh, you're just going to have to live with it, okay? God, look at her. Total, total mess. Come over here. Come over here, Jessica. We're going to go stand in nice, mushy grass so we can continue our investigation. That's fine right there. Look at her, man. She's looks like she's on her way to a red carpet event. Okay, Miss Woods. Go ahead and, uh, go ahead and tell me. Be honest with me, okay? Have you been drinking at all today? Do you smell alcohol? I actually don't, so that's not a good thing. But, okay, I know you have a CCW. Do you have any weapons in the vehicle, ma'am? You just reminded me I need to get a taser. Okay, well, that's not that's not exactly what I'm asking, Jessica. Um, but, okay, can I search your person for my safety and yours? I'm not sure if I really have a choice here. If I do, no. Okay, that's fine. Can I search your vehicle? No, you don't need to go snooping around. Wow, she's being really, really tough with us. Okay. Can you tell me this, Jessica? Do you have anything illegal in the vehicle? People are in and out of this thing every day. Okay, so she's giving us the total runaround. Oh, it's my friend's car. Oh, no, people are in it every day. Oh, no, you can't search me. So this is going to be this is gonna be pretty difficult. Um, what I'm going to do... I mean, she's already struck a few vehicles, so at this time, we pretty much have probable cause to search her. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run her through a few field sobriety tests just to confirm that she's not driving under the influence. If she is, then we'll have absolute probable cause to search her and the vehicle. So I want to do this as lawful as possible. Okay, Jessica, let's go ahead and do a few tests, okay? I'm just going to make sure that you're uh, not disoriented. So the first one is going to be the one leg stand. You can take off your high heels if you want. But you're going to go ahead and raise your uh, dominant leg about six inches off the ground, okay? And count one one thousand, two one thousand, until I tell you to stop. You understand? All right, go ahead and do it. God, she's looking at me with some big eyes. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, eight one thousand, nine one thousand, ten one thousand. That's fine, Jessica. All right, so she passed that. She's she's doing okay. It's possible that she is just a total terrible driver. Well, Ranger you Fleming looks a little disappointed that she uh, passed those tests. Let's get back to Trooper Davis, the canine chief. Remember they were behind that stolen vehicle? Well, they got him pulled over, and they have backup on scene ready to approach. Is, so far, this guy's complying. He is not driving crazy or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and approach, ask him what he's doing out here, um, if he knows his vehicle is stolen. Of course, we will take things a little bit more safely than, uh, you know, a normal traffic stop. 
So I'm going to go ahead and have my hand on my holster just in case, you know, things go a little bit haywire. Hey, what's going on, man? My name is Trooper Davis with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. You happen to have your ID on you, man, and uh, registration for this vehicle? Yep. Driver seems to be nervous and sweating. Well, that's not a surprise since he's driving a stolen vehicle. Appreciate it. All right, thank you so much, man. Uh, so your name's Jack Foot, is that right? All right, fair enough. You know why I'm pulling you over today, man? All right, well, you didn't use your turn signal when you turned right over there on uh, the exit. Did you know that? You're too lazy to do that? Okay, well, no worries. That's why I'm pulling you over, okay? Give me one second. I'm going to go run your information in my vehicle, and then I'll be right back, okay? How about this? Do you mind stepping out of your vehicle for me right now, okay? I just wanna, I just wanna talk to you over here. I know it's raining and everything, but on, yeah, this guy is tall. Holy crap! All right, Jack, why don't you follow me right off to the side of the road, okay? Let's bring him all the way back here. I really just don't want him to be near his vehicle or in it. I'd rather not uh, have him take off from us today in this weather. All right, Jack, just hang on tight right here, okay? My deputies are just going to keep an eye on you while I run your information. So just Not hang on tight. Out County, that subject is complying. You can go ahead and lift the channel. All right, let's go ahead and run him through Copy. our system. We'll go ahead and lift the channel. All units, signal um, 100 is lifted. Now that we know who the driver is, we can confirm that he doesn't have any warrants. Or maybe he does. I don't know. Well, that's why we're going to figure that out right now. So let's see. Jack Foot. So Jack Foot doesn't have any arrest records or anything, so he's clean there. Um, he's been cited for at fault in an accident, improper lane change. The vehicle is coming back stolen. It does not have insurance. Um, and it's owned by Tyrell Dawson, who is clean and valid. So, nothing there. So, we're going to ask this guy if he knows he's uh, driving around with a stolen vehicle. And then we'll go ahead and proceed down the whole path of, you know, what he's got on him, what's in the vehicle, all that jazz. All right, Jack. So we got a couple problems, man. A couple big problems. Did you know that this vehicle is stolen right here? The one you're driving? My parents are mad, so they called it in stolen. Okay, so you're, you're telling me your dad is Tyrell Dawson? And your your name is Jack Foote? So, I mean, the, the last the last names don't really add out there, but I guess it's a possibility. Um, okay. Do you have anything illegal on you that, uh, we should, we, we, that we should be worried about, man? Yo, we're going to go ahead and find an ass whipping pig on you. It's a little bit strange. No weapons or anything? Not that you can see? Okay, why don't you go ahead and turn around for me, Jack? I'm just going to go ahead and frisk you real quick, okay? Just for your safety and mine. I know you're being a little bit tough with us, but, you know, if your parents did call it in stolen and that's all, then that's fine. So he's got a smartphone with some weird pictures on it. Vibrator, lockpick, and some paper. Okay. So he's got a lockpick, so... That could be possession of uh, some some robbery tools. Um, so that's not going to be good there. Jack, is there anything illegal in the vehicle that we should be worried about? Can we go ahead and search it? Most certainly do not. Okay, well, at this time it is registered stolen. Or it is coming in stolen. And it's not in your name. So we're going to go ahead and search it. So why don't you go ahead and turn around for me right now, Jack? At this at this time, you're just going to be detained, okay? The boys are going to love you. Until we can figure out who this vehicle belongs to, if they're in fact your your parents and they are uh, just mad at you. But at this time, we're going to detain you until we can figure that out, okay? Out of three, two, County, we're going to have one to fifteen. Let's go vehicle, see what he's got in here. Copy one to fifteen. Wouldn't be surprised if we find some more stolen goods. Usually, when somebody's driving around with a stolen vehicle, that's what we find. Um, he's got a pile of dirty clothes in the back, a box of 6mm airsoft BBs, a machete, that's not good, and a baggie containing a brown powder, powder substance. So that's not good either. He's got some possible narcotics um, in the trunk of this vehicle. So if that is coming back as a, uh, a positive narcotic, then he's going to be going, uh, he's going to be charged with that as well. All right, well, he asked Mr. Foote a little bit more about what he found in the vehicle. Let's go to Officer Carson. He got called off onto a welfare check on the west side of Los Santos. All right, so we're getting a uh, welfare check call. I believe it's at this residence here. Um, we got dispatch telling us it's for a John Blue. Sounds like he's about 20 years old. Not too sure the extent of 
what's going on, but uh, we'll go ahead and make contact with the residents and see if he's here. It's possible that they're they're just worried about him to see if you know he's he's not doing drugs or something since he's 20 years old. Los Santos Police Department, anybody home? Okay, now three. I'll be trying to make contact with the residents. Copy, K93, making contact. Los Angeles Police Department, anybody home? K93, I'm not getting anybody to uh, come to the front door. I'm going to be checking the residence, the back of the residence. Copy, checking back. LSPD, anybody back here? John, are you back here? Let's go ahead and check the back. Oh, right here, right here, right here. K93, we got one sus we got one person down here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna be a, a drug overdose or anything, but he looks unconscious. Copy one unconscious. We'll go ahead to the EMS. Uh, be advised, he does have a history of multiple drug overdoses. John, can you hear me at all? My name's uh, Officer Carson with the Los Angeles Police Department. Can you hear me? Let's go ahead and start start CPR on him if we can. John, if you can hear me, just go ahead and let me know. All right, I'm not hearing anything. Let's go ahead and start CPR. Let's go. Come on, baby. Anything at all? All right, didn't work, apparently. I, it's not even worth trying CPR. I mean, I can't. He's not even breathing. K93, uh, suspect is not breathing at this time. Do we have any updates on EMS? Oh, they're right here. K93, disregard. They're on scene. 10 for copy. Don't die on me. All right, EMS is on scene. Yeah, man, I just rolled up on scene here. Uh, he was just passed out in the back here. I'm not sure if he's got a drug overdose or or something like that. Uh, that was the nature of the call. Okay, we got more EMS on scene. Looks like they're going to start. Wow, well, we let EMS do their thing here. Let's go back to Chipper Davis. Remember, he found those drugs in that guy's car, and it uh, looks like he's asking him a lot of questions on that. What is, uh, what's this whole thing of, of brown powder? What is that? It's just rock candy? Okay, well, I'm not too sure about that. Can you tell me where you got this bag from? A trap house in Mirror Park. All right, well, that's not looking good for you, man. All right, Jack, just hang on tight right here. I'm going to go run these uh, drugs through our test kit. I'm telling you, man, if it's coming back positive on some sort of narcotic, man, it's just easier for you to be up front with us right now. You're already kind of in the hole with driving the stolen vehicle, so... And you got a machete in there, so I'm not really sure what that's about, but... Alright. He doesn't want to talk to us anymore, so let's go ahead and, uh... Let's just go ahead and run this and see what it comes back as. So we got these beautiful narcotic test kits in the back of our vehicles. So, I'm gonna go ahead and test this for... Let's see... I'm gonna go ahead and test it for heroin since it is brown in color. If the pill turns purple, then we know it's heroin. So, yep, positive for heroin. Beautiful. So, that's going to be a confirmed felony charge there. Um, and he's going to be taken in for that, as well as the vehicle. We're going to go ahead and make contact with Terrell Dawson, the registered owner of this vehicle. And uh, we'll, we'll see if this is, in fact, his son right here. But I, I find it really hard to believe that it is. All right, Jack. Listen up, man. At this time, you're going to be charged with possession of a stolen vehicle, okay? And you're also going to be charged with heroin because that did come back positive for heroin. All right? Come on, Chief. Get in the car, man. It's raining like a freaking cat and dog, and I don't know what you're doing, man. Come on. Let's go. In the car, in the car, in the car, in the car, in the car. Is this going to help? Oh, my God. Am I going to have to pick up your body and throw you in there? In the car. There we go. Okay. Don't don't be playing this game. Oh my God. We got freaking ghostin.com. What is this? Get on the ground. Are you gonna comply now? Are you gonna comply? What is this? Oh boy. Jasper went for it. Oh my goodness. All right. She's got a pretty extensive bite. Get on the ground, man. What are you doing? Flopping up like that. <laughs> Jeez, do you hear her voice? Sounds like a witch. You smell like shit. Ma'am, are you done? Jasper, bite her again. Bite her again. Come on. Yep, take her out. On the ground, miss. Okay, she doesn't want to get on the ground. There we go. We'll do it for her. Jasper! 
Where are you at, buddy? Back in the car, you want some treats? Man, these dogs, I'm telling you, sometimes, sometimes they're a little bit crazy. All right, we are Ranger 466 today. Ranger Fleming, and uh, we're gonna have to blast through this because YOLO. She's driving around with sunglasses on in this weather. She's just a whole fruitcake all around. So the vehicle is registered to Jessica Woods. So the whole, oh, it's my friend's car is a total bogus excuse. But why don't you go ahead and step out for me, okay? God, look at her, total, total mess. Look at her, man. She's looks like she's on her way to a red carpet event. All right, so we're just hanging out. Uh, I got Chief in the back here. Hey, Chief, you want some of this? Some of the dish? There you go. Hey. All right, we just gave Chief some Danish. Uh, I got some coffee this morning. We're just gonna be uh, running some ALPR out here. Boom, 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 boom. Come on, boys. Give us something juicy. Give us something juicy to work with here. We really need somebody with the warrant. Okay, so we're getting a welfare check call coming in over the radio here in Richmond. Wow, the roads are really covered in rain here. Man, we got major flooding or something. Come on, textures, get out of here. Really, we're gonna do this now? You just can't, you just can't win, man. You just can't win. Come on, load in. So I can do this call, please. Keep loading in. Keep loading in. More textures. Come on. All of them, please. All of the textures.